Did you know that an eclipse has a direct effect on the Earth's vibrational frequency? Here's everything that you need to know so you can get in the right frame of mind and you can elevate to the next level too. We are less than 24 hours away from the total solar eclipse happening on April 8th. Tomorrow is not a day to be afraid of, nor should anyone be dreading it or have any negative feelings towards it at all. I've been seeing a lot of videos going around about what people think will happen on the 8th, as well as some biblical prophecies that seem to be coming true before our very eyes. I made a video earlier this week, kind of giving my point of view on the whole thing too, and sharing some interesting things that I've learned while researching this topic. And when I posted that video, I didn't really think anything of it, to be honest. But as I started reading through some of my comments, I noticed a couple of you guys saying that I am fear mongering and I shouldn't be scaring people like that. And honestly, it kind of bothered me a little bit. And no, not because of the hate comments. I literally get those every single day. That's old news to me. Doesn't even bother me. But what did bother me is that you said I'm fear mongering. I don't want to be instilling fear into anyone. That is not my intention. That is not what I'm here to do. So I wanted to share with you guys kind of how I'm approaching the eclipse tomorrow. And I'm not telling you to do the same. That's completely up to you. You should approach this whole thing however feels right in your soul and in your being. But here's some things to consider before tomorrow. Tomorrow, the earth, moon, and sun will all be in perfect alignment, causing a disruption in the normal flow of energy. This energetic disruption creates a unique window to raise your vibration and manifest the life that you've always dreamed of. Now, I'm sure many of you already know that the frequency of the earth has been rising for quite some time now. So it's no surprise that tomorrow is actually going to be a very high vibrational day, a day full of potential and new beginnings. According to scientists, the Schumann residence is going to have a spike tomorrow. So what does that mean exactly? Well, the Schumann Resonance is a device that is used to measure the frequency of our planet Earth. When the Schumann Resonance rises, we, as living organisms on this planet, also get a DNA upgrade and a rise in our consciousness. So, how does this relate to the solar eclipse? When we experience these solar flares and solar eclipses, we get a jump in the Schumann Resonance, which opens us up to either making a conscious jump ourselves or remaining stuck in the same low vibrational frequency that we've been in for the past couple of years. As we get closer and closer to this upcoming eclipse, I've been feeling the effects of this energy shift, and I'm sure some of you guys have been feeling it too, without really even knowing it. Has any of you guys been getting things like headaches, ringing in the ears, fatigue, feeling super anxious or out of place, trouble sleeping, or even vivid dreams? These are all common signs of when the Schumann resonance is about to rise. Once I understood that, it made so many other aspects of my life make a lot more sense. When the solar eclipse happens, as a collective, we're going to be experiencing some major upgrades. Now, I'm not going to tell you what to do or how to experience this shift. When the solar eclipse happens, as a collective, we're going to be experiencing some major upgrades. Now, I'm not going to tell you what to do or how to experience this shift. There's not really a right or wrong way to approach it. But it is important to be in a high vibrational state and to be in a positive state of mind. Make sure to surround yourself with like-minded, high vibrational people. Or just go off to yourself, meditate, and have a personal experience. It doesn't really matter the particulars of what you do. But what matters is that you're aware of the shift that is about to take place. And you align yourself with the earth and with the frequencies it is emitting. Now I want to make it clear that I still stand behind my last video and the things that I shared in that video. I still think that there's a lot of things going on tomorrow and it's important for us to stay in the know about all of it. I still think that there's a lot going on tomorrow and I still think that it is super important for all of us to stay in the know about it. But knowledge should not equal fear. Just because you learn certain things or know certain things doesn't mean you should feel powerless or afraid. It actually gives you great power because the more you know, the more you are able to guide your life in the direction that you want it to go. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys have been hearing about how many states are declaring a state of national emergency ahead of time, way before any people even show up to their cities. Many of them have deployed their National Guard to the cities that fall in the path of totality. I know they said that they're worried about the influx of people that are going to be watching the eclipse, but now there's word of hospitals preparing for this event. I can't be 100% certain as to why they're planning so heavily, 
but it makes me wonder if they are preparing for possible earthquakes over the next few weeks. And before you scroll, stick with me for just a second, because if you look at the science, an earthquake is honestly a very big possibility in our near future. Take a look at this diagram here. This gives you an idea of how the moon affects the tides. And in a solar eclipse, the gravity of the sun is added to the gravity of the moon, and they're both pulling on the Earth's crust in the same direction at the same exact time. And during full or new moons, the average tidal ranges are slightly larger. This occurs twice each lunar month. The moon appears dark when it's between the Earth and the sun. The moon appears full when the Earth is between the moon and the sun. In both cases, the gravitational pull of the sun is added to the gravitational pull of the moon on the Earth, causing the oceans to bulge a bit more than usual. This means that high tides are higher and low tides are lower, which is normally referred to as spring tides. From the very beginning, this relentless motion has shattered the continents, continuously sculpting them into the world that we live in today. The celestial bodies overhead, so the sun, the moon, the stars, they're not merely distant spectators. They're active participants in shaping our planet's destiny, from the deepest ocean trenches to the highest mountain peaks. They influence basically everything, from the air we breathe to the changing seasons that define our existence. So as long as the sun and the moon have been in the sky, the oceans have been sloshing around back and forth, busting all the tectonic plates and the landforms. So with all that being said, do you see why people are a little bit nervous about the new Madrid fault line? Now here's some food for thought, okay? This is Anchorage in 1964, after a devastating 9.0 earthquake. Plenty of people lived through that, but an event like this doesn't leave people unchanged. It shakes them to their core, and it makes them question their morals and how they've been living life and approaching things. And rebuilding does not come easy. People normally have to work together, be group-oriented, be in unison, and ultimately put your ego and your sense of self aside and really be a community. Another prime example of this is London after World War II. The devastation was immense. Nearly 19,000 civilians lost their lives. 1.5 million were left without homes, and the city saw destruction of 3.5 million homes and 9 million square feet of office space. Despite the severe disruption to their lives, the people emerged transformed, fortified by their shared experiences of loss and resilience. So, why did England, faced with such adversity, manage to persevere? A pivotal moment came during the dire situation at Dunkirk. With the British army at risk of annihilation or capture, King George VI took to the airways on May 24, 1940, and he declared a national day of prayer. He rallied the nation to unite in faith, seeking guidance and assistance from a higher power. In a remarkable display of unity and faith, millions across the UK gathered in churches with, with over a thousand people lining up outside of Westminster Abbey alone. Dignitaries, including the Queen of Holland, the British monarchs, the Prime Minister, and other high-ranking officials stood shoulder to shoulder with common folk in a practice of prayer. This act of faith set the stage for what many would call a series of miraculous events. Despite the adversity and the odds stacked against them, the spirit and the resolve of the British people remained unbroken. It had absolutely nothing to do with the Winston Church or the King or the churches. The hearts and the minds of the people turned back to God, asking for his aid and his mercy as they were being destroyed. So take this little history lesson as yet another reason to not feel fear for what could come. Because in the end, we never really know what the future holds. And even if there are earthquakes coming, which I'm not saying that there are, but I'm saying even if there are, you shouldn't automatically jump to the worst conclusion. And if you are ready to live a life where you're doing right and you're leaning to the light and not towards the dark, then he will always have your back and he will always keep you safe no matter what adversities life throws at you. So as you're watching the eclipse tomorrow, consider everything that I've just told you. Make sure you go into it with a light heart, a happy heart, and a high vibration. And if you are feeling fear, maybe take some time to meditate on it, to pray, to collect yourself. And with that being said, happy eclipse day. As I said in my other video, watch each other's back, stay safe, stay smart. You still never know what's going to happen. 
and you just want to make sure that you're keeping each other safe you're watching each other's back eclipse not eclipse the world is a crazy place out there and you never know what's going to happen so watch each other's back stay safe stay smart so take tonight get yourself in the right mindset meditate pray on it and get ready because tomorrow has the potential to unlock the rest of your future and i don't know about you guys but i'm definitely going to be meditating and getting in that right state of mind because your girl is definitely going to be elevating and I really want to take this opportunity to work on myself, to work on my state of mind, my mind frame, and hopefully you will see a whole new glow on me tomorrow. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, share it with a friend, and do not, do not, do not forget to follow my page. I'm really trying to grow my following right now, so every single follow means a lot to me, guys. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best, and I will see you on the next video.